Hey, welcome to The Daily Devo. My name's Mike, and today we're gonna talk about what to do when you hear something for the second time. Do you have kids, or do you remember what it's like to be a kid? Uh, let me tell you what it's like to be a parent. I have two kids. You repeat yourself a lot. Stop doing that. Go clean your room. Say thank you. Get out of bed. Eat your vegetables. Don't touch that. Non-stop in life, we have to remind our kids things that are best for them. And we want to build character and healthy habits. We want them to be safe in life and so many more things. Right? The repeat will never stop because as parents, we don't give up on helping our kids develop into the best possible version that God has designed them to be. Can you imagine if one day every parent just gave up on asking their sons or their daughters to take care of their things? I mean, what if they stopped encouraging their kids to be the best at school? We repeat ourselves for a reason and we won't forget about the things that matter the most. The same is true for God and how he interacts with us. Do you remember earlier in this Daily Devo series where we talked about the fact that God was asking Jonah to go to a specific place and carry out a very clear mission? Uh, Jonah, he went the opposite direction. Well, in this moment, here's what we find out. God actually repeats himself. What he wanted for Jonah was so important that God goes round two with Jonah with his message. Let's look at it today in Jonah chapter three, verses one and two in our Bible. This is what it says. Then the Lord spoke to Jonah a second time, get up and go to the great city of Nineveh and deliver the message that I have given you. Uh, it makes mention of this being the second time that God had to tell Jonah to do this. Notice the words from God, they're a little shorter this time. They're a little more to the point. He doesn't explain everything all over again. Uh, he doesn't say, hey, do you possibly feel like going and doing this? God is really direct with Jonah. He says, get up and go, followed by the charge to deliver the message that I've already given to you. As in, you already know what to do because we've already talked about this before. So after this, what do you think Jonah decides to do? Uh, we see in the next verse, verse three, this time Jonah obeyed. Have you ever had that moment with God before? Have you had something you've been wrestling with in your life? And God has already clearly given you advice. He's given you direction on what to do. Here's my advice for you today. Just simply follow God's lead in those moments. He's not gonna forget what his plan is for you. His desires are for you. He's not gonna let you miss the opportunity to grow to look more like his son, Jesus. Just as parents, we wanna build character and healthy habits and safety for our children. God wants to do that for you and for I, multiplied by a million times more. So if you're struggling today with love, joy, peace, or patience, goodness, or faithfulness, maybe self-control, you can be certain that God won't give up desiring for you and asking for you to develop these habits and skills in your life. These life lessons, they are gonna continue to pop up for you in your life until you strongly develop what it is that God wants you to develop in your life. For now, I wanna challenge you. Think about an issue that repeatedly is coming up in your life. Think about what it is that God wants you to do. He's not gonna give up on you. He's not gonna give in on desiring that for your life. Take it from Jonah. It's best to just get up and go do what God's calling you to do.